I ask for his shotgun instead, since he'll probably die in another minute or so. He disagreed. Uh -huh. Then he gets pulled up and dies. I told you! Hello everybody, I'm Silver John. Today, we'll be playing Resident Evil Village, a survival horror game set three years after Resident Evil 7, with our hero, Ethan, searching for his missing wife, Mia, in a spooky house in Louisiana, where everyone tried to kill him. Luckily, Ethan manages to rescue and cure the infected Mia. Then, they live happily ever after. <laughs> Until Capcom decides to spit out another sequel. This should be easy. After all, I am an expert in horror games. Nope. I begin in a cozy house with Mia and our daughter Rose. Mia reads Rose a creepy story about a little girl receiving gifts from monsters in a haunted forest. I rescue Rose from her clearly unfit mother and put her to bed. I return to have a nice romantic dinner with Mia when suddenly... Hey, uh, don't know if you've noticed, but you just got shot. Mia gets killed in front of my eyes. Then Chris Redfield shows up and shoots Mia again because why not? He takes Rose and knocks me out. Talk about a double whammy. I awaken by the roadside next to a dead guard and a flipped over truck and loads of dead crows hanging around. <sighs> Can I for once wake up in some place nice? I head into the dark forest where nothing bad ever happens. It was surprisingly peaceful, apart from the dead crows. I reach the eponymous village and begin exploring. I snuck into a house to find anything useful. Suddenly, I'm held at gunpoint by an old geezer. After explaining myself, he gives me a handgun. I ask for his shotgun instead since he'll probably die in another minute or so. He disagreed. Lo and behold, he got dragged up the ceiling and died. I told you! Then I get dragged to a basement filled with dead bodies. I meet Mr. Frosty, who casually bites off my fingers. How fun! I totally didn't piss my pants. I ran out of the house to fight back. I eliminate Frosty the Snowman and went around the village re-deading the undead. Eventually, I'm surrounded by a horde led by Beast from X-Men if he was homeless. I thought I was a goner. Then a bell rang and they just up and left like it's lunch break. What? I'm not good enough for you? I'm delicious! I meet a crazy old voodoo lady who tells me that Rose is here. What? Since when? She's a baby! Feed her, burp her, put her to bed. How useless are you people? I search for Rose, but instead find Elena and her father Leonardo. I was pretty disappointed that Leonardo wasn't a human-sized crime-fighting turtle. I brought them to meet the other survivors. Then we gathered and prayed. Suddenly, Leonardo goes bonkers and kills everyone. Elena and I escape upstairs. Crazy Leonardo re-emerges and blocks our path. Leonardo utters, Elena. For some reason, Elena decides to jump into a pit of flames with him. Why do I even try? I make my exit and head for the castle. Meanwhile, I'm again accosted by the old woman. Crazy cow! I reach the cemetery and opened a creepy stone door to the castle using two crests I found. I entered the castle basement. As soon as I relax, a funky man with magneto powers wraps me up in metal and drags me away. I awake to the sound of music and sun's warm embrace. Not. I'm tied up in a room with a creepy doll in a wedding dress, a hunchback troll, hawk girl, Magneto, and a freakishly tall lady. The tall lady and Magneto were bickering about who gets to entertain me. The tall lady walks over to me. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Please share it to your friends if you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.